What's going on, everybody? I am back with another prize picks NBA player props video. This one gonna be breaking it down, giving you guys three picks if you win some money over here on prize picks in the NBA tonight. As always, if you haven't checked out prize picks, what highly recommend you check them out. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players' points, rebounds, assists, points, rebounds, assists, fantasy score, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. Again, that is code. KJK DFS, go ahead and lock that in. Get that free money offer and start winning some money over on prize picks with these picks today, guys. And if you are getting very serious, would highly recommend you check out my premium content packages. I do have those. That is linked below in the description. You can visit patreon.com and search KJK DFS. I should pop up. I do offer lower tier packages for the NBA and prize picks. If you just want to get access to all of my core plays, all the plays that are going to be within my tickets. For the day, if you want to get access to all of my core plays, all of my tickets immediately after I place them, top priority push alerts, all picks, all apps, all sports that I cover, would highly recommend you check out the VIP member package. It's going to teach you a whole lot more as well as far as how to manage your bankroll, how to succeed at this long term. And uh, pretty much every single thing that I could possibly provide you with, I try to give as much value as possible in that pack. So check that out if you're interested. Uh, the premiums for if you're getting really serious, if you're not really getting serious, you're just looking to turn some games on, watch with some family, some friends, put a little bit of, you know, some $5 prize picks entries in. I understand that fully. Have a little fun. That's why I provide this content for free. And if you do enjoy this content, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It is free. It takes two seconds to do. It does greatly help me out, and I will be Providing you with this content for free all NBA season long. We finally hit a wall yesterday. Had a bad day on the YouTube picks. We were on a 17-7 and run. The goal is to go on as big of a run as possible while keeping the win percentage above 70%. And uh, finally came back down to earth last time. That's just sometimes it's going to happen. So we're going to look to start a new streak in this one. Got three picks for you. We're going to get into it, guys. We will go game by game as we always do. Not the largest slate here tonight. Uh, we only have two games going on in the NBA tonight. However, uh, should be two good ones. Uh, 228 over under in the New Orleans Pelicans and San Antonio's first game. And a big reason I like this two-game slate is because of the injuries. So uh, we'll start on the Pelicans side. They're dealing with some injuries today. There will be no Zion Williamson. There will be no Brandon Ingram. Uh, CJ McCollum has a 5.2% usage increase. Alvarado with 3.9. Jonas Valanciunas a 3.5% as far as usage differentials with those two guys off the court this season. But when you're looking at the overall breakdown, let's see the exact uh, details. CJ McCollum has a 30.5% usage rate. Jonas Valanciunas has a 27% usage rate. The next guy is going to be Alvarado with a 23.8% usage rate. So what is this telling us? Well, number one. CJ McCollum's usage is about to go up in a major way. He gets the biggest usage bump with no Zion, with no Brandon Ingram. Goes up 4.9% usage rate when we're running the numbers ourselves here. Um, and for all these reasons, I do expect him to be able to put up some serious buckets. Not to mention, these San Antonio Spurs are terrible uh, defensively. They're one of the worst teams in the league. We're going to pull up my NBA VIP premium sheets, and I can guarantee uh, we're going to be talking about some really good matchup here because they've been one of the worst teams in the league all year long. Uh, 228 over under, 118 implied massive total for the Pell side. And then when we're looking at my defensive shooting half court and putbacks tool, San Antonio ranks dead last in the league in points per possession rank. They're 30th overall in the league, 30th in half court points per play rank, 25th in offensive rebound and percentage rank given up. And when I'm looking at my defensive shooting action sheet, San Antonio 30th in effective field goal rank. They're 30th in non-corner threes, 30th in all threes. Um, they are last in a lot of categories, and it is for all these reasons. I do anticipate TJ McCollum to have a lot of success. He's going to get a big usage bump with there being no Zion. He's going to get a bunch of opportunities, and he, I do want to be targeting his points. And then lastly, you're looking at uh, his overall shot volume here. You know, how is he going to be doing? How much usage does he usually get? Keep in mind, he's going to get even more usage with these guys off the court, but we'll just go ahead and get a overall view of this team, how the shots break down. CJ McCollum does lead the entire team. Zion Williamson third, Brandon Ingram, um, Zion Williamson second, I should say, Brandon Ingram third, and then you got JV fourth. So obviously with the second and third guys out, it's going to be resorted to the first and fourth guys to step up really feeling want to roll here. Um, McCollum 17.8 times per game. He shoots 41% from the field, 35% from beyond the arc. He shoots 80% from the line as well. And we're getting some really good value uh, when you're looking at this line on prize fix, because as far as the latest odds on a pinnacle, he is a massive favorite to hit this over. We're looking at minus 156 juice on the over 24.5 points here. So 
Getting some really good value on this Siege of Akala prop. Certainly one that I want to be targeting today. So pick number one. We're going with the over 24.5 points here for Siege of Akala. That'll be pick number one. And then pick number two. We just talked about it. We're going to stick in this game. No Zion Williamson. No Brandon Ingram. Who's going to get the biggest usage? CJ McCollum. Jonas Valanciunas. Who's terrible defensively? The San Antonio Spurs. They're dead last in the league in points per possession rank. They're dead last in the league in effective field goal percentage rank. They're dead last in the league in long mid-range. They're 29th, second to last in all mid-range, allowing opponents to, sh opponents to shoot 46%. They're 23rd in short mid-range, allowing opponents to shoot 44.1% from the short mid-range. And all these reasons, second usage guy, guy's going to get a big usage bump. Jonas Valanciunas is going to be my second pick here. Just kind of discussed it. Uh, CJ is going to be the 30.5 usage rate. Jonas Valanciunas, 27% usage rate. Just saw this guy go absolutely bonkers last game, by the way. So if you care anything about recent form, uh, certainly has good recent form. He just dropped 37 points on the Milwaukee Bucks in 37 minutes. That was with Zion in the rotation. Now we're taking Zion out of the rotation. Once again, a guy that I do expect to be getting some buckets tonight. And once again, a guy that we're getting some really good value on. Looking at the latest odds on Pinnacle for Mr. Jonas Valanciunas' points at this 17.5 line. Um, can't ask for much better value. We're talking about minus 153 juice on the over at this 17.5 line. Would not be surprised in the least to see this get bumped. Would not be surprised in the least to see pretty much every single one of my bumps in this, uh, every single one of my picks in this video today get bumped, to be honest. So try to get this in as soon as you can. Love CJ. We talked about him, but I also love his teammate and Jonas Valanciunas over 17.5 points. I think these guys both crushed today. Um, talked about it. San Antonio, terrible defensively. No Zion, no Brandon Ingram. Big usage bump. Good value on Pinnacle with a minus 153 line on the over 17.5 points. Gotta love this prop here. So, uh, Pick number two, going with the over 17.5 points here for Jonas Valanciunas. And then pick number three, rounding things out. We got some more injury news in this second game. The Washington Wizards taking on the Utah Jazz. This game comes with a 230 over under. Six points spread in favor of the Utah Jazz. And uh, Christos Porzingis is certainly li currently listed as questionable, and I am fully anticipating him to be ruled out later in the day. Already got the status alert that he did not participate in shoot-around, and he's a game-time decision with an illness. Typically speaking, when these players do not shoot in, uh, do not participate in shoot-around, it is a dead giveaway that they're going to be out, and we can get some early edge on these lines because I would expect these lines to go up even more. And a uh, guy I want to be targeting is Bradley Beal. Top usage guy on the Washington Wizards. We'll go ahead and break down their shooting volume as far as the Wizards are concerned. Who's going to take what? Who's shooting the most efficient? Bradley Beal certainly up there at the top of the usage for the team. Second on the team in shots per game. He takes 16.8 shots per game where he shoots 51.5% from the field. Very, very good. He also shoots 4.73s per game where he shoots 33% from the field. And he gets to the free throw line 5.3 times per game where he shoots 85% from the line. All very good things for Bradley Beal to continue his success in scoring tonight. Guy's been crushing as of late too. Uh, finally returned from that injury on the 18th and has put up 32 minutes, 35 minutes respectively the last two times out. He's dropped 29 and 27 points. Um, Christoph Porzingis was out last time in that game where he got some increased usage and dropped 27 once again, like I said, fully anticipating that we're going to get the news that Kristaps is out later in the day. Anytime a guy sh misses shoot around, that is usually a dead giveaway. He's not going to be able to go in this one tonight. So I uh, think we're getting some good value on the Bradley Beal point prop here as well. Similar to what we talked about with CJ, with Jonas Valanciunas. And once again, we're talking about some major juice on Pinnacle. As far as the latest odds for Mr. Bradley Beal to hit this over at this 23.5 line. It's actually gone bumped up to 24.5 on Pinnacle already. I was seeing minus 150 plus juice on the over 23.5. So once again, a prop you're going to want to get in as soon as possible at this 23.5 line. If you get this at 23.5, you get some really, really good value. I already sent this into my premium members, uh, my VIP members, I should say. And uh, my premium members as well, they get the picks before I release it to the public. But get this in at that 23.5 line, if at all possible, because you're getting some really good value. I was talking about I was seeing some minus 150 plus juice on that 23.5. It has now gotten bumped up to 24.5 with pretty much even odds across the board. And by the way, there is no official news that Kristaps Porzingis is out. So we might see that juice climb up back to that minus 150 at that 24 and a half line when we finally get that news that Kristaps is out. I am fully anticipating he will be out. Take advantage of the value while you can. So... That's going to be my three picks. Get you one some money over here on Prize Picks in the NBA today, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you haven't checked out the premium content packages, I don't know what you are waiting for. I'm telling you, there's a lot more value to be offered over there. Would love to have you join. 
Um, so my lordship packages, my VIP member package is going to be the most valuable package if you can make that $1.66 investment a day. I promise you're going to get a lot more than what you invest over there. We'd love to have you join the group. So it's all for me in this one, guys. Wishing you all the best of luck on your NBA player props tonight, and we will see you in the next one.